Welcome, Vectors KCC 2016, question number 20. So the question reads, in the diagram below, the coordinates of point A, B, are 1, 6, and 15, 6 respectively. Point N is on OB such that 3ON is equals to OB. Line OA is produced to L such that OL is equals to 3OA. So there is the diagram. So you can see where A is, B, and C. So the first question, find vector LN. Find vector LN. So let's go and um, see how we're supposed to find vector LN. So let's go to the diagram. So LN is equals to, now when you look at the diagram from L to N, we're going to follow the root LO plus ON. That is the root that we're going to use, LO plus ON. Now we need to get LO, LO, and you're given that OL is 3OA, OL is 3OA. So this is where we're going to get LO. LO will be negative 3OA since it is moving in the opposite direction. So let's uh, write that. LO is negative 3OA plus ON. So ON, we have... Uh, 3 on is equals to 2 ob so if you want to get uh, vector on that will be given by we divide both sides by 3 we get 2 thirds ob so that is on so on is 2 thirds ob 2 thirds ob so 2 thirds ob then from there, we need now to insert the vectors. So z equals to negative 3. OA, we shall write, uh, can see point A, 1, 6. But now we write it in column form, vector form, that is 1, 6, plus 2, 3, 2 over 3, OB. OB, B is uh, 15, 6, so we write that 15, 6. Uh, that is a position vector. Then we open the brackets by multiplying everything by negative 3. You get negative 3, 18. Negative 3, negative 18. Then plus 2 over 3 times 15. We get... That would be 10. Then 2 thirds multiply by 6. We get 4. So after getting that, the next thing we're going to do is to get the sum, negative 3 plus 10, and then negative 18 plus 4. And that gives 7, negative 14. So that is vector ln. So therefore, we can write down here, therefore, ln so therefore vector ln is equals to 7 negative 14 so that is how we're supposed to work out the first part of the question now let's go to the second part of the question given that a point m is on ln such that lm Ratio mn is 3 is to 4. Find the coordinate of m. Find the coordinate of m. So let's uh, indicate that point m. We shall draw that line. And you indicate that point m is there. That is where you have m. So the ratio given uh, lm mn is 3 is to 4. So that is how we indicate that ratio. So 3 is to 4. Then from there... Um, to find the coordinate of M, 
we shall get vector om vector om is what will give the coordinate of M. So we need to get the position vector of M, which is OM, in order to obtain the coordinate of M. So that is what I'm writing. So the coordinate of M is given by finding vector OM. That is the position vector of M. OM is given by, let's go to the diagram. OM will be given by ol plus lm that is what we're going to get so from the diagram uh, we have om is given by ol plus lm so om is equals to of course, we have OL. OL is there. OL is given as 3OA. 3OA plus, plus, then we go to LM is 3 over 7. That will be given by 3, the fraction 3 over 7. Ln, looking at that ratio, that is uh, the ratio 3 is to 4, that is dividing Ln. So Lm is given by 3 over 7 Ln. Now after obtaining that, uh, we just uh, insert the vectors. So 3 into brackets, Oa given there. Now uh, Oa is uh, 1, 6. Mm. So that is 1, 6. Plus 3 over 7, 3 over 7 ln, ln is just what we have obtained there, is there, ln is there, 7, negative 14. So just direct there. And these, um, when you work out, let's uh, continue in the next uh, page. So just continue dot we got from the previous page so i'm doing it very fast so we got this one as i'm um, just repeating because i'm going to the next page so three uh, one six then lm we've got that one is uh, three over seven l n that is a uh, seven and we got this one as a uh, three eighteen then plus three over seven times seven that is three three over seven times negative fourteen that will give um negative 6. So adding these, you get 3 plus 3 and uh, 18 uh, minus 6. And this gives 6, 12. That is uh, 12. So that is... Um, the vector so we can say the coordinate of m is therefore 6 12 that is how we give the coordinate of m now after getting that i think that is the second part of the question you can go to the third part of the question now and the third part of the question is um you go to the third part of the question next question is here if line OM is produced to T such that OM MT is equals to 6 ratio 1, 1, find the position vector of T. So find the position vector of T. So OM is produced. It is uh, produced uh, further. So I just want to produce that from the diagram. Uh, let me produce it. OM produced to T. Let me produce that to T. So 
So there, there it is. So I want to indicate uh, point T uh, somewhere there. So that is uh, the point T. So the ratio given there is uh, 6 is to 1. That is OM, MT is given by 6 ratio 1. So T is just produced outside M slightly. Now after um, doing that, now to find the position vector of T, remember the position vector is a vector with reference to the origin. So to get the position vector of T, we need to move from O to T with reference to the origin, which is uh, O. So OT is given by, OT is given by 7 over 6 OM. Looking at uh, that ratio through which um, T divides OM. So let me take you back there. So you can see the ratio. Uh, OM is divided externally. OM is divided externally by T in the ratio OM6 then MT1. So therefore, that is why we get uh, OT is given by 7 over 6 OM. Now, just to extract it here, um, for us to understand, so OM is there. Just extracting uh, from the previous diagram. So OM, MT. So that is 6, that is 1. So to get OT, OT will be given, since OM is the one that is divided externally by T, so it is given by 7 over 6 OM. Now, we already got uh, vector OM, vector OM in the previous part of the question. We got that. And so we just need to insert it, 6, 12, and then we multiply 7 over 6 times 6, 7, then 7 over 6 multiplied by 12, you get 14. So, therefore, the position vector of T is given uh, simply by 7, 14. I think that was straightforward. The next question is the last one. Show that points L, T, and B are collinear. Show that points L, T, and B are collinear. Now, to show that the points are collinear means you have to show that those three points lie on the same straight line. That is the meaning of collinear. And to show that points are collinear, uh, there are a number of things that we need to show, uh, which I'm going to write them here. Uh, so LT, um, LT, B, they lie on the same line. So we need to show these. Number one, that the first thing you're going to do with these three points, LT and B, is to form two vectors uh, from them. From those three points. Uh, once we form uh, two vectors, we have to show that one is, um, let me read this, we have to show that one vector is a scalar multiple of the other, or there exists a scalar between the two vectors that you formed. The last one, you have to show that there exists a common point. If they are collinear, there must be a point that is common uh, among the three points that you have. So those are the three important things that we need to show. So we go direct to forming two vectors from those points, LT and b so and this is the vector that is going to form so lt is equals to a certain scalar which is k then lb so when you go to the diagram we want to form a l m or lt let me go back there there's something i need to get let me go back or oh, lt it is there lt is given by a certain scalar multiplied by lb so going back there lt lt in the diagram it doesn't seem to be very straight just a sketch uh, but we want to show that they are on this same straight line but in the diagram uh, just a sketch so we need to get vector lt and lb and then we show whether that uh, scalar is common we calculate that scalar that is what we want to get so to get LT, we have to move from L to O, then plus O to T. 
we already got these most of these vectors so lo for example that is a negative 3 or a go that and then uh, ot we got that one is a uh, 7 14 so we just uh, get a uh, negative 3 or a or a is 1 6 and then um plus 7 14 so then uh, from there we multiply the negative 3 we give negative 18 plus 7 14 and this will give negative 3 plus 7, which will give, this will give 4, and then uh, negative 18 plus 14, negative 4. So we got LT, vector LT as 4, negative 4. Now let's get uh, vector LB, and you want to see that scalar, that is K, that has, I'm calculating. So LB lb want to get the direction you're going to follow from uh, l to b so lo plus ob is what you're going that is the route you're going to use so lo again you already got this you don't need to keep on uh, writing it it is there lo so lb is given by lo plus um, ob so lo we already calculated that so and we got that one is uh, negative 3 negative 18 it is here it is somewhere here you can see it there there it is and then um ob vector ob is given by the coordinate of b is uh 15 this is 15 6 yeah so 15 6 and then when you add these negative 3 plus 15 this will give uh 12 eh? then negative 18 plus 6 negative 12 so that is uh, vector LB. Now we've got the two vectors, LT and LB. Therefore, um, now we can uh, write the vectors. LT is equals to K. That is a scalar K, LB. We want to now insert the vectors that we've uh, formed and calculated. And LT, the first thing that you're going to show, we said you have to show that there's a common point. When you form this, you can see LT, a certain scalar K, LB, you can see L is a common point. That is um, an indication that these points lie on the same straight line. So L is a common point. Then, I want to show this scalar, I want to get this scalar that exists between the two vectors. And uh, to do that, you get the vector L, LM, which is... Um, 4 negative uh, 4 is equals to K, the other scalar LB, 12 negative 12. So when you calculate uh, the value of K by quitting just one of them, like 4 is equals to K times 12, and you do the same for the other, negative 4 is equals to negative 12 K, you notice you get uh, the scalar K to be 1 over 3. So you can see it is a common, and it is the same um, when you use uh, the two ways to calculate that K. So therefore, we can conclude and say that LT is uh, given by, that scalar now is uh, known, that LB. So we have proved that these vectors that you have formed are scalar multiples of there. There exist a scalar between the two vectors, a common scalar. Then we have shown that uh, there's a common point, that is L, is a common point. And those are the things that you need to show that points are collinear or points lie on the same straight line. So that is um, simply how you're supposed to work out that question.